for homestead skills and today I'm canning up something that uh, might be considered a little bit unusual. I'm going to be canning up some water. And okay, and my reason for doing that is to have some sterilized water on hand in case I need it. Now I have no issues with water. I have plenty of water, um, but it is strictly tap water and um, this will allow me to, as I say, to have sterilized water on hand. Now I okay, so I have these three quarter size. They are um, larger than a quart and smaller than a half gallon, so three quarters. And I have quite a few of these in, in my home. I've picked them up at yard sales. I've picked them up on the side of the road, free for the taking. Um, I have both wide mouth and narrow mouth versions. As a matter of fact, the wide wide mouth are actually Bernardin jars, which means that they're a newer product. These ones are Dominion Mason, which means they're an older jar. Anyway, I felt that uh, these would be ideal for canning up water. And I have washed them as thoroughly as I can. I have tested how many will fit in my pressure canner and four will fit so you can go with quarts and you'll get seven quarts in your pressure canner but I can only get fit four of these so I'm putting four in now since I'm starting off with tap water I'm going to where I have done so far is I've boiled tap water for ten minutes and I've got my canner all heated up there as well. It is ready to go. I doubt that I'm going to be able to fill all four jars with this water, so I want to be able to put the hot jars in the hot canner and let them sit until I've got all four sealed up. So at this point, I'm going to um, fill up as many of these jars as I can with the water that I have. They've been washed and uh, they are ready. As I said, I have five of these jars right now, but only four will fit in the canner, so four is what I'm going to go with. Okay. And see what happens. I'll see how many I can fill up, and then I will keep them warm while I'm filling up the rest of them. Now, I want to be cautious here because I am starting off with boiling hot water in jars that are not hot. So I want to be a little bit careful here and the first little bit just use it to warm up the jars rather than just uh, pour boiling water in immediately in cold jars. Okay. I'll start off with three. I might be able to get three out of this batch. All right, no catastrophic failures yet. The jars are hot. And I'm going to fill them up. Well, I've also got the water in my canner boiling so that when I put these in, I will be putting hot jars into a hot canner. Unfortunately, I don't think this pot is big enough to fill all four jars. and <laughs> perhaps only two of them. Okay, so there's one full.
Okay, as I suspected, I will likely get three. And I think that I will put a little bit of water in this one as well, just to, well, we'll see. Let me get my three first. Okay, I've got three full. And now I'm going to add a bit in this water just to get it, or into this jar, just to get it warmed up. Okay, at this point, I don't have to fill up this pot entirely, so I won't do that. Um, I'll just put enough to fill one jar and get it up to a boil and let it boil for 10 minutes while I seal the other one. Okay, I am going to use brand new lids and not necessarily new rings and I'm not going to bother to clean these with uh, vinegar because I actually have scrubbed these jars quite thoroughly before I filled them up with the water. So they are clean, this is nothing but water, so they should be fine. So rings, finger tight, and I believe I have, oh, about an inch head space there. Yes. Now, once again, finger tight, and my canner has got boiling water in it, so I'm just going to get gloves now because these are going to be heavy and hot and I will put them in my canner. Hot boiling water, hot jars in a hot canner. And these three will just have to sit and wait until the fourth one is ready. And I'm going to turn off the heat because everything is good and hot right now. And no need to get it any hotter than what it is. Okay, one jar left to go. And when it has boiled, when this is boiled and boiled for 10 minutes, then I'll fill up the last jar, put it in the canner, and we'll pressure can for 20 minutes. Probably doesn't need that long, but that's what I'm going to do. Okay, my water has been boiling for a good 10 minutes now, and I will fill up the last jar here and then we will pressure can the water which might sound unusual but it is done and uh, we will have some water on hand should we need it for various reasons it would be sterilized water that can be used in medical situations or just used as ordinary water that is quite safe actually and this should last for years. I believe that if you have bottled water in plastic bottles, the it's not the water that deteriorates but it is your plastic bottles that tend to deteriorate over time so um, bottling up in glass jars should last for years and years although you may want to replenish it after two or three years change it up. That would be up to you, but it should be safe for a number of years. Okay, I have to. Okay, another lid and ring here. And this jar, as you can imagine, is very hot. And it's going into the canner right now, and then we will uh, pressure can, as I said, for 20 minutes. Probably doesn't need to be pressure canned that long, but that's how long we are going to do it for. Okay, let me just see if I can set that up a little bit better. There we go. So we're going to pressure can this for 20 minutes, and I'm going to turn the heat on right now and put a lid on this canner. And once again, go through the same process. So when it has vented for a full... 10 minutes, then we will put uh, the 10 pound pressure weight on this and let it uh, 
come up to 10 pounds pressure and can it for 20 minutes and then turn it off and just let it cool. At that point I may just leave it in there while everything cools and go out to my garden and then probably clean it out or empty it out after I get back. This is Tony from Her Homestead Skills. I hope you enjoyed this video and we will catch you on the next one. Bye for now.